Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I'm going to share a haul from Bento Wax Company. Um, this was purchased right before Halloween. Um, she shipped it on 1020. Um, so I think it came like right before I had like my wisdom teeth removed and, and I wasn't really doing videos at the moment. Um, and really just sat down here since then because I've been really busy with work and stuff. Um, and um, a lot of this is like fall and Halloween themed stuff. Um, and she had, well, part of the reason I ordered was I think she had like, it was, I think it, I think it was like 25% off. It might have been 20, but I mean, it wasn't just like 10%. Um, so I think she was trying to clear out some like ready to ship she had sitting there. Um, so this big thing over here, really crinkly, is like a Halloween sampler. Um, and then I got some like three packs of sushi rolls. Um, I did order um, a three pack. She's now started doing scent shots. Um, and that one was out of stock that I ordered. Um, so she ended up refunding me for that. And then she sent me a free, like these are like her Pokeballs. Um, this one is in pink drink, a sweet pink berry mimosa, um, so they sent it to me for free because my order was not, you know, all there, and they refunded it, which is like, you know, most companies just refund it, and that's fine, you know, that happens, it happens, um, so when I saw that they gave it to me for free because of that, I was like, wow, that's, I mean, that's really awesome, really sweet, definitely didn't have to do that, um, I'm not sure what Pinkberry is, but it smells really good. I wonder if mimosa means it has a little bit of orange, like orange scent. Um, and I've been kind of turned off by orange lately, but this one smells really good. Um, I think this will be a really good, like, New Year's melt. Um, and then I also got a body spray. This one is in Halloween Roll. Um, and I don't remember what this one is exactly, but I believe it was like a pumpkin. Yeah, it definitely smells like pumpkin or like kind of cidery. I wouldn't be surprised if there was like cider lane or something in that. Yeah, so that smells good. Um, and that's the first like non-wax purchase I've bought from Bent. Oh, I did buy a scrub once. I have a scrub. So, first time trying her sprays. I haven't tried any of her other bath stuff besides the scrub and then that. Um... Here's a three pack of sushi rolls. This one is brandy pear, juicy ripe pear, and aged brandy. So I love she has sun descriptions and she has pour dates, um, which really can't ask for anything more. <laughs> and, you know, as like a consumer. Not everyone does those things. Some don't do either, and um, it's it's really nice when you can get both, especially. Um, yeah, it's just like a really nice like fresh pear scent. And then this one is apple cider. Like red and white. And this is a nice apple cider scent. Um, a little more on the spicy side, um, but that's probably just because most of the apple cider stuff I have is like cider lane, which already has marshmallow in it, so I think it kind of cuts down spiciness. Um, and then this one is toasted pumpkins. Fresh pumpkin, clove, cinnamon, and smoked embers. These ones are like orange and tan-ish. It's kind of like a tan yellow. Um, I definitely get that like smoked, smoky scent with the pumpkin. Um, so yeah, that's really good. I'm excited to try that one. Um, I might have to try that one before the fall is done. Um, this one is Dark Side of the Pumpkin, Midsummer's Night, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Um, I don't remember what Midsummer's Night is. I think it's like a Bath and Body Works dupe. Yeah, I definitely get that pumpkin pecan waffles. Um, yeah, and then this is like a tiny bit perfumey, but also really creamy. So um, I'd have to look up what that is, but I'm excited to try that one. It smells really good. 
Um, and her, um, her sushi rolls, some people not the whole, but I think half is plenty. Um, you know, they're really cute, so it, it, it's definitely tempting to do the whole one. I don't think it's necessary, but you definitely can. I remember reading a lot of people in her group said they do, do half a sushi roll, and she said she always does a whole. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think I might do, start doing a whole, because I just have so much freaking wax to be sitting here cutting everything. Um, so this one is pumpkin, apple cider, cinnamon, fresh pumpkin, and apple cider. This doesn't want to focus. There we go. Yeah, it's like a like a pumpkin um, apple cider. It's really nice. Um, and then this thing, really loud. Um, it was like tied up, and it's it's basically like kind of like sh like fancy shrink wrap kind of stuff. Like probably for um, decorating like baskets or something like those like gift baskets. But I'm gonna dump this out because it's really loud. And then we'll see what we got. So these samplers. Um, she usually does like one roll of a scent. Um, so, you know, if it's like new stuff, I, I haven't really bought a whole ton of stuff from her. I've ordered a couple times, but I don't really like know all her scents. So, samplers are definitely a good way to try stuff. Um, this one is Frankenstein's Cocktail. Come on. Green Apple Jelly Ranchers, uh, Grape, Raspberries, Cranberries, and a Touch of Fizz. Um, grape always kind of scares me. <laughs> um, I, I definitely, you know, when I sniff this, the first thing I get is grape. Um, but now this, the subsequent ones, I'm not really getting it as much. I think sometimes with wax, like if there's something in it that you don't really like, it's what you smell the most. <laughs> it doesn't mean that that's the highest concentration in there. It's just you don't really like it. So it, I think it kind of just you pick it up a lot easier. I will try it. If not, I might give it to someone. Um, this one is Good Morning Black Raspberry Vanilla and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Um... Yeah, you definitely get the, like, the black raspberry and, like, the pumpkin pecan waffles. It's definitely an interesting combination. Um, I will have to try it. I've not really had, like, a, a raspberry with pumpkin pecan waffles. This one is Spooky, Sco uh, spooky Scary Store-Bought Cookies. Um, so she does, like, store-bought cookies. Um, it's, like, one of her really popular scents. And then she does a lot of, like, blends with it. Um... So her, her like, uh, store-bought cookies is, like, the subscription is always, like, ooh, ooh, Dem store-bought cookies. <laughs> like, those, <clears throat> I know exactly what she means. It's, like, those, uh, you know, those ones that are, like, really soft, and they have, like, the frosting on top and the sprinkles, um, and then it's with candy corn. So I always love getting those cookies. Make them for, like, every season, like, holiday, like, different colors. Um, yeah, this is really good. I could have definitely used more of this than just one roll. Um, yeah, you definitely get that candy corn. It's just like a really creamy, like, cookie scent. This one is Witch's Nightmare, which is Witch's Brew and Lavender. I'm not sure who does Witch's Brew, but it's like one of those, like, dupe scents. Um, I'm not sure if it's a Lush, because I, I don't think it's a Bath and Body Work. I'm not sure, though. It's definitely a um, herbal lavender. Um, it's definitely like an herbally, fresh sort of scent. This one is the Mummy Roll, Lord of Misrule, and Futon Roll. Um, and Lord of Misrule is a lush, like Chris or, not Christmas, Halloween scent, which is like patchouli and something else. Um, I don't remember what her Futon Roll is. Okay, sorry guys. Um, my dog is driving me nuts lately. I don't know if it's because it's starting to get, like, it's colder or what, but, like, <laughs> you know, it's really nice out. She'll stay, have a really big backyard, it's fenced in. Um, and she'll stay out there sometimes for, like, hours, and it's really nice out. Um, it was really nice yesterday, but she's been doing it, like, consistently 
lately whether it's nice or not. Um, and it is colder today and really windy, but like she went outside for like 10 minutes and um, come in, which is fine. But then like another like five, 10 minutes later, she wants to go back out and it's like barking again. And I'm just like, seriously, like make up your mind. <laughs> like just drive me nuts. I think she like sees like a squirrel or like here's another dog outside and then she's like, oh, I'm gonna go back out. And I'm like, really dog? <laughs> <laughs> like, she, she does that all day, and it drives me nuts. Um, yeah, so anyways, the mummy roll, um, the Lord of Misrule is definitely, like, a, um, patchouli scent, um, and I don't know what futon roll is, but it might be a little fruity. I wonder if futon rolls for strawberry. Mm, I'm not sure, but <laughs> it might be. And then... This one is Trick or Treat, Candy Corn, Fresh Picked Strawberries, and Toasted Marshmallow. Um, yeah, I definitely get that sweetness from like the Candy Corn and Toasted Marshmallow. The strawberry is there, but it's not um, like super duper overwhelming. So I think that is a nice kind of fall one. Definitely reminds me of like candy. This one is Full Moon Snack, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, and Banana Nut Bread. She's barking again. She's literally been out there like two minutes. <laughs> I think she's barking at something right now, though. This one smells really heavy on the Banana Nut Bread, well, um, which I don't think is a bad thing. I'm starting to realize that I like, like Banana Bakery for fall. is the Halloween roll, which that's the one I got for the perfume, so this is the same scent description. Um, pumpkin pecan waffles, candy corn, candied apples, and toasted marshmallow. Um, so I said it kind of smelled like apple cider. It's probably the candied apples, and then like the pumpkin for the pumpkin pecan waffles. That one's a good one. I, I definitely could have done with more of that one in like wax form. Um, yeah, even after reading the scent description that I read this, it does kind of smell like Cider Lane. And probably because it's like the candied apples and like the toasted marshmallow. Yeah, that one's good though. Um, this one is Happy Haunt, Butterscotch, Caramel Apple Cider, and Marshmallow. Um, just look at that caramel... And like that butterscotch. I don't get a whole ton of cider, which is surprising because it's usually pretty dominant. And she has like such nice bags. She has like really thick ones. Like you hear those? Really thick, nice black bags. Um, this one is Monster Eyes, Calicus, and Juicy Purple Grapes. I don't really know if thicker bags help wax stay better longer or just like the you know, obviously it has to be like polypropylene, but um, I just like I get that like juicy purple grapes, as it says, but it doesn't smell like really gross, like <laughs> to me. I'm not a huge grape fan. It doesn't smell gross to me like most grapes, and I think it's because it smells more like a wine grape. Um, and I don't know what calicus is, but I will definitely have to try that. It's not one that I just sniff and I automatically say like, oh no, I'm not going to do it, which is what I do with a lot of grape and blueberry. This one is Igor's Treat, Black Licorice, and Ice Cream Scoop Bread. Um, not a huge Black Licorice fan. Um, you know, it's not as weird as I thought it was going to be. I might try that one. It was definitely a nice Halloween month. I'll probably save it for next October. This one is Zombie Brains, Juicy Cherries, and Marshmallow. Yeah, this one has like that really strong cherry. Um, which I've not really been a fan of cherry lately, but this one actually smells pretty good, so I'm going to try this one. Um, this one is Dracula's Cuban, Black Cherry, Pipe Smoke, and Mahogany. Um, I definitely get that cherry. 
probably because again it's like that scent note that I'm not <laughs> as crazy about in the whole blend but I do get that pipe smoke on second sort of sniff so um yeah, so that's, I think, the last of the sampler. Um, there is definitely, you know, with samplers, like, there's, sometimes there's quite a few, especially if you're kind of picky, um, where maybe I'm not crazy about them, but, you know, I'll try them or I'll give them to friends. Um, so, yeah. Um, or I might, I might have to start giving away some stuff to you guys, because... <laughs> I think we're about at 200 subscribers, so um, I meant to do one at 100, and then I just kind of kept putting it off, and then I was like, well, I'm almost, like, to 200 now, so might as well wait. So, um, yeah, so, yeah, I'm excited to try some of this stuff. Um, definitely more fall stuff, um, which falls almost done, but, you know, whatever. I definitely way overbought for fall, but, um, not really surprising because fall is my favorite season, and I am obsessed with Halloween, and I just get kind of overboard with anything, like, Halloween-themed. Um, so, yeah. So that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.